My name is Lana and I am a nurse here in California. And I started having nausea and, and just an upset stomach. Just It came out of nowhere. This was 10 years ago. And um, I, I ended up being worked up and having endoscopies and colonoscopies and the whole bit and was finally diagnosed through a breath test with SIBO. And so they treated me for SIBO with antibiotics and all went well. I was, I was symptom free for about a year, but then they came back as SIBO symptoms do. And then since then, it's been a, a long process of seeing different doctors, different, even different G GI doctors. And um, they don't always agree on how to treat it, it, not even how to test for it. Sometimes they don't, they don't agree on. And so ultimately, I went to a functional medicine doctor. Actually, she's an integrative medicine doctor, probably one in the same, but um, she started treating me more with um, herbal antibiotics, as she called them, it's things like oregano oil and, and such. And that went along pretty well, but, but again, the symptoms would come back, they would come and go. And it was, it was pretty uncomfortable and miserable. And I was always watching what I ate. And, and then my symptoms progressed into a, um, an anxiety. I was, was become anxious. Even when I first woke up in the morning, I hadn't even had my caffeine yet. I would just have this anxiety and out of nowhere with no reason to be anxious. And finally, my integrative medicine doctor who had, we had, by now we had tried several different options for treatment and she suggested that I do a retraining program. I researched it and what I read about the Gupta program I, I liked and kind of connected with, so I tried it out. I started feeling more calm um, as I started doing the, the art and, um, and especially the meditations and, and practicing mindfulness. At that point, I had just stopped all of the, the supplements that I had been given and um, just just really stuck with the, the retraining program. It took almost a year to really see any improvement to the point where I almost gave up. But, at, but I thought, what am I gonna do instead? Let me just stick this out. And so um, finally, I... I um, probably 80% have 80% improvement. I don't really have the GI problems I did before or the anxiety and such. I still, I still get a little nervous when I eat certain things, but, um, so far, I mean, once in a while I'll get a little bit of an upset, upset stomach or, or have bloating, which is a typical symptom of SIBO. But for the most part, it's it's much improved. Let's face it, having food and drink is a is a big part of our, our social lives. And I would go out to eat with with friends, and I I would avoid eating this and that, and um, and I didn't like being the center of attention as far as when people would say, "Oh, that's right, you can't eat this such and such," and it was embarrassing, and and um, and so that that it was one of my biggest reliefs is to be able to go out with friends and not worry about what they're going to think and what I can eat and what